Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I've just got some more fusion practice battles for you today. Admittedly, these were all pretty early in the month, so um, I have changed some of the moves and I wasn't very aware of some of the matchups, but I wanted to upload these because there are some spicy picks and it's a good showcase of how um, having um, uh, the metal move on Alolan Sand Slash, even though it gives you good coverage against um, Ice and Fairy, I feel like it's better to have Bulldoze rather than Gyro Balls, so I have actually uh, TM'd that, but I thought that these videos were a pretty good showcase of how Gyro Ball probably isn't that helpful. It also takes a long time to get to, so it's quite a risky move to use when you do use it. Uh, so um, we've got a match up with the Whiz Cash against Charizard here. I've just used my first shield and I believe my Sand Slash got taken out so it wasn't the best um, matchup for me but I decided to stay in anyway just because I didn't want to uh, miss out on the switch advantage. So we're just going to throw as many mud bombs as we can at this Charizard and hopefully take him out. He does manage to survive with just the tiniest bit of HP there and gets a charge move off, which is not great for us. So um, he ends up winning the match up there. The Charizard takes out two of my Pokemon. I'm in a horrible position here and then he's got Frostlass, which is not great for my Noctowl. Noctowl can actually beat Frostless with an energy advantage, but yeah, no, um, this isn't going to go great for me. He's got a shield, he's still got another Pokemon in the back, so yeah, and I I didn't say this at the start, I just want to thank um, Fresh Dog, Bad Jordan, and uh, Final Flash for the battles today. And they all kicked my butt, but I was able to learn some valuable lessons. So we've got our second match up here against Bad Jordan. And I'm meeting with Alolan Marowak up, up against his Whiskash. Not a great match up for me, but again, I decided to stay in just because I don't want to um, give up the switch advantage. I think that I was being too careful of that. So um, lately I've actually been um, not as scared to switch and trying to learn what a safe switch I guess you could say would be so <laughs> um yeah but these few battles I, I feel like um I would stay in really bad matchups and just uh you know try to play it out but not use any shields and just figure that I'd do it that way um but I don't think it was working out the best for me so I think it's good to have a little bit of both like there's a time when it's good to stay in but there's also a time when you should just get out and go into something that might not counter what you're up against very hard but um then you know they're not just going to farm up a bunch of energy on you so um haven't been commentating most of the battle but you could see what was happening there I've now only got my uh, Wigglytuff up against his Whizcash he's going to throw a mud bomb I can't believe how much damage that actually does like when you see how much HP Wigglytuff actually has and then a mud bomb like it doesn't feel like a very strong move it doesn't seem like it should do that much but Charizard is able to take us down with the fire moves there um, so going into the third battle, I'll try to stay on track this time, I promise. <laughs> uh, I'll get the lead here. So we've got Noctowl against, um, uh, <laughs> I always forget its name, Shift Tree. <laughs> um, he does throw a foul play, does a decent amount of damage. I do decide to um, get a couple of extra moves in because I know he just used a bunch of energy. Do have to be careful though because Shift Tree is such a spammer. And we're able to throw the... Um, the sky move sky attack there uh he does shield so he throws another move and we decide to shield we get to another sky attack and he shields that one as well so that's two shields gone um he gets to another charge move i let this one go through it does take us out it's a foul play now i'm probably going to bring out marowak and just uh, farm up a bit of energy there so that worked out pretty well for me what's he going to bring in next uh, Frostlass. So the fire moves are going to do really good damage. I've got to be careful of the Shadow Ball though. So I go straight for the Hail Mary Shadow Ball here. And oh, that's right, he used both his shields. I just said that. So we're able to just take out the Frostlass. And then we've got Charizard against Alolan Marowak. 
from memory, I think that Alolan Marowak is actually a bit um, like thicker than Charizard. He's so squishy. I can't believe how squishy Charizard is. He's amazing, but he's so squishy. So we go for another Shadow Ball here. It doesn't quite take out Charizard. He's able to get to another charged move. I don't have any shields left. It's a Blast Burn, and that um, isn't quite enough to take out my Marowak. So he survives that one. Um, next up, we've got some battles against Fresh Dog 101. He's in my Astralis server um, on Discord. Again, I'll always have uh, links to Discord servers in the description if you're interested in joining any. Um, so we lead here with Noctowl up against his Swampert, and Hydro Cannon um, does a decent amount of damage considering how quickly. Uh, Swampert can actually get to the Hydro Cannon. So we do throw a Sky Attack. Um, it does a decent amount of damage as well. He beats us to the second charge move, of course. Do I, I decide to let that go through? We are able to tank it and get to another Sky Attack. So I'm just going to throw... I'm so bad at the um, flying <laughs> charge move. It's really hard. Uh, and then um, we both survived there and he's going to get to another Hydro Cannon which I will let take my Noctowl out. So now we're uh, two shields up against his one shield and his um, Swampert is there ready for me to farm up a bit of energy. We bring out Frostlass and farm it up and he goes into his Polyrath. So um, obviously the Mud Shot isn't going to be hurting us much. We do have to be very, very careful of Dynamic Punch. Um, so he gets to a charge move here. I think I shield Ice Punch. So I didn't need to shield that one. That was a nice bait that he got there. I throw an Avalanche. Um, this early, I didn't realize that um, it's probably better just to go straight for Shadow Ball. Like, I think it's one fast move difference. But he shielded it anyway, so it worked out well for me. Now uh, he's shieldless, and I'm going to try to go Shadow Ball time. I think I shield so that I can get to the Shadow Ball. No. Turns out to be an Ice Punch, which was really good. And I'll go for the Avalanche, apparently. Uh, probably because he's got such low health, it wouldn't have been... Yeah, I didn't need a Shadow Ball. So we've got a little bit of health left. He does bring in Shift Tree. If we were able to get to the uh, Avalanche, it would have uh, KO'd the Shift Tree. So this is not great for us at all. I've got a Shield, but he's going to be able to get to the next Leaf Blade. Um, yeah, here we go. And that's going to one-shot my Swampert. So... It's interesting how potentially that could have gone differently, but good on him for taking the win. Here we go. Here's a bit of a spicy pig. So, um, Dust Stocks? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know the name of this Pokemon. I haven't even evolved one yet. I don't think. So, I've got no idea how this goes. I just stay in with my Whisk Cash. He throws a, um, I miss what the name of it was, but he gets a stat boost if you saw that. So, I'm like, what do I do? I'm just going to keep throwing mud bombs and hope for the best. <laughs> See what happens. Uh, he's uh, used both of his shields, probably because he's got the boost. He's got this much health. I mean, why wouldn't you? going to try to get to the blizzard. And I decide to use one of my shields here. I should be able to get to the blizzard. Yes. So we throw that. He is shieldless. So we'll see how much this um, boost actually helps. Look at that. That's pretty good. I mean... It is going neutral damage, but I still think that boost helped a lot. Now, I do have um, Charizard here who's just going to be able to come in and farm down. No, he's able to get to another move. I take a big risk with my squishy Charizard. He throws a sludge bomb, almost takes us out. Comes in with, uh, switches into Probo Pass and one shots my um, Charizard with his fast move. So I've only got Venusaur in the back. Um, Venusaur is okay against uh, Probo Pass, not the best. As you can see, that rock slide hurt way more than I expected it to. I've died with a shield there, so <laughs> not the best. But hey, this is what practice battles are about. A lot of the time when I'm practicing, I won't shield because I want to see how much the move actually does. That way I learn it. And then when I'm actually in a tournament, I, I'll be able to know um, generally if I need to shield it or not. So um, we've ended up... Uh, um, yeah, still against Fresh Dog here. We've ended up in a Swampert 
a mirror match. Just going to go for the Hydro Cannon here. He decides not to shield and it's such a strong move even after the nerf. So you can see how much um, damage that did there. I decide to shield his Hydro Cannon and I uh, get to another one. So we'll see if he shields this one and stays in or lets it go. He decides to shield that one. He's probably going to be able to get to another Hydro Cannon. Yep, and there's no way I'm using my shield. Um, I'm going to save it for whatever matchups come up in the future. So um, he does take us out there. So we go back into our Alolan Slam Slash. Uh, we do have a lot of energy already. I've tried to just farm down the Swampert, but he gets to another charge move. Does quite a fair bit of damage, as you can see there. And he goes into Noctowl. So I go for an Ice Punch, and we'll see if he shields this one or not. He does shield. So I've got another Ice Punch ready to go. And he doesn't shield that one. It's not as such a tank though. We are able to get to another Ice Punch. So we'll see if this KOs. I'm not sure if it will. And it does. So um, then he brings in his Wigglytuff. And I've got my own Wigglytuff in the back. We do have a shield if we need to use it. But generally I think the better thing to do is just try to charm each other down. Um, but having the HP advantage, I was able to take at least one win. So up to the final a uh, lot of three battles here up against final flash you've seen him plenty of times on my channel um definitely a great competitor and um someone that i uh, kicks my butt a lot so i like to try to practice against him when we're able to so um we've got Whizcash against polyrath oh my gosh this shiny polyrath i'm telling you it just wreaked havoc on my teams these days so i get to another mud bomb um i can't I wasn't really paying attention um, if I was overcharging to try to get the shields there. Um, but he doesn't uh, use any shields and he saves up two charge moves here. And uh, dynamic punches my Whizcash. Now it's a wild sort of race to get to the next charge move. And he decides to shield that and he's able to just farm down my Whizcash. So... Um, both of the things that I have in the back would be really weak to a dynamic punch. I decide to go into a Lolan Marowak and we're able to actually fast move him down before he throws a charge move. So that was really good. And um, so he goes into his Whizcash, which isn't an ideal matchup for me. I tried to shield bait because he does still have two shields, I believe. Oh, um, no, I've got two shields. I'm not sure how many he has I do shield them up um, he's got one shield so I wanted to try to get the shield now I'm just going to go straight for the shadow ball he throws another mud bomb do I decide to shield this one no and uh, you can see how much that hurt my Marowak he is able to survive it and throw a shadow ball and he doesn't shield that one so um that was really good but he gets to another charge move this will probably be a mud bomb takes out our marowak and we've got a lolan sand slash in the back now i've still got the gyro ball there i got really lucky actually i've i've been running on like one or two tms and pretty much using them as soon as i get them and i was able to get bulldoze so i was <laughs> really lucky there because i could have had just a useless uh, sand slash just before a tournament started but it was okay so then he brings in in his sand slash and of course you'll see here i just have nothing i can do neither of my um charge moves are going to do anything because i don't have bulldoze and he's able to just take us out there with a bulldoze and a fast move so now we're going to go whisk cash Noctowl, and um shift tree and he leads with his polyrath again so um shiny polyrath might i add <laughs> uh, so we're just gonna charge up to the blizzard i don't even think that the blizzard does a lot but let's see let's see if he doesn't shield and we'll have a look yeah oh, it does it does a decent amount of damage it's better than a mud bomb <laughs> so i got lucky that he didn't shield that one he does throw an ice punch probably another ice punch i wasn't counting the moves there oh dynamic punch that hurt so we're just going to try to get to another mud bomb. Poor Whizcash is feeling a bit beat up at the moment. And he shields that one. So we're up two shields. 
he's able to fast move us down and just uh, bank up all of that energy I'm like bring on your dynamic punch bring it on he, bring, he brings a nice punch it's super effective but um, Noctail is just such a tank I decided to shield the second ice punch and I'm trying to just farm 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 down got there before he got to another ice punch so that was really good we do go for a sky attack um, it's you know gonna be resisted but sky attacks are pretty strong moves so as you can see it still did a decent amount of damage um, I think here we go I'm gonna try the nightshade now I think that might do a fair bit more damage but let's see if he doesn't shield nope they do about the same so probably um, sky attack is better to go there because it's uh, less energy we do decide to shield that one um, he's got another charge move so I basically just wasted my shield I should have just let Noctowl go we do have shift tree in the back which is not ideal for me and uh, we get to a, f um, a foul play we get to a foul play but we throw a leaf blade do get the shield bait there but he's got um, an ice punch ready to go not usually a very strong move but boom one one shot pretty much one shots the um, <laughs> shift tree why do I always forget its name I don't know <laughs> so third battle here I lead with my Alolan Marowak and he led with his shiny Polyrath again so he's just um, charging up a lot of energy there and we do go for the mud bomb charged up to a shadow ball to try to get the shield bait and we got the bait there so I'm gonna let this go through it's an ice punch doesn't hurt very much so I'm glad I didn't shield that one I'm not gonna shield this either as I said I want to actually see how much dynamic punch does so it doesn't do much at all which is really good I do go for another shadow ball and we'll see if this goes through or not and it does go through he's still got a shield left he's gonna save that one and throw another um, charge move I let that go through it isn't enough to KO and we're able to charge up a bit of energy we've got a mud bomb ready for whatever comes in we're just gonna throw it there's no way I'm gonna get to a shadow ball so um, Wizcash takes the mud bomb we don't get the shield and um, I bring out my shift tree and he brings out his Alolan Sand Slash so I change straight into my Alolan Sand Slash don't ask me why <laughs> I think it's just um, sometimes it's just a habit to switch when they switch even though Alolan Sand Slash against uh, shift tree is a pretty bad matchup anyway and I wanted to keep it lined up with his Whiskash so um, but it's not going to work like that because I don't have Bulldoze so um, I'm going to have to do I have any shields left? I've got one. Probably should have shielded that. We are able to survive surprisingly, but um, he's able to get to another charge move. Either way, it's going to um, take us out. So I don't use my shield. I bring out the shift tree, go for the dark pulse. I mean, foul play. And it's able to actually KO the uh, Sand Slash. So we're in a good spot here. I do charge up a little bit more energy because I've still got that um, shield. Uh, I wanted to make sure that I had two Leaf Blades lined up. So he gets to one, uh, looks like we went for a CMP tie there. Uh, throws a Mud Bomb. It would have been fine if that went through. And we're able to throw the second Leaf Blade and at least I took one win. <laughs> so I'm happy with that so um, thank you for watching if you got to the end thank you to uh, Bad Jordan Fresh Dog and Final Flash I really appreciate the battles and like you're all really good to battle against great competitors um, thank you again for the battles thank you everyone for watching and I've got some links in the description if you're interested in getting to PvP and I'll see you in the next video bye